Hi everyone, this is Learning with Linda, and today I bring you the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of November. As of this week, we have 22 states that have been approved, and as always, I bring you the payout date information. And for those who are currently looking for work, Costco is actually raising the minimum wage. And for Social Security beneficiaries, we have really good news. The House is introducing the Social Security 2100 Act. So stay tuned to ensure that you receive this information. Now, before we get started, if you are interested in the latest news regarding stimulus, child tax credit, SNAP, PEBT, and everything in between, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now let's get right to it. And if you are interested in learning how to get cash back from your food stamps or any groceries, make sure you check out this video, how to get cash back from your food stamps. Link will be in the video description. You can also use the Ibotta app where you can get cash back when doing your grocery shopping. And don't forget about your $10 when you sign up and once you've uploaded your first receipt using the referral code that is on the screen. And so let's begin with the news of the day. The House is introducing a Social Security 2100 Act. So House Democrats are reintroducing a Social Security reform bill popular with their party. This time, it features some changes aimed at attracting more support from Republicans. The bill known as the Social Security 2100 Act is being brought forward by Representative John Larson chairman of the House Ways and Means Subcommittee on Social Security. The bill adopts the Consumer Price Index for the elderly as the basis of the Annual Cost of Living Adjustment, otherwise known as COLA, which applies the payroll tax to wages above $400,000, combines the old age and survivors and disability insurance trust funds, includes a 2% benefits bump, and extends the depletion date. Larson said House Ways and Means is looking forward to holding a hearing on the bill in November, followed by a markup. Now, according to the bill's fact sheet, adopting a CPI-E formula will help seniors who spend a greater portion of their income on health care and other necessities. Improved inflation protection will especially help older retirees and widows who are more likely to rely on Social Security benefits as they age. The bill also includes a benefit bump for current and new beneficiaries equivalent to about 2% of the average benefit. The fact sheet explains. The Sacred Trust Act also would bring new revenue into Social Security amid projections that the trust fund will run dry in 2034 if Congress doesn't take action. Max Richmond, President and CEO of National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare, said in a statement, Social Security beneficiaries need improved benefits to meet ever-growing living expenses, and that many seniors will fall into poverty without a boost in their monthly checks. He knows that the fairest way to strengthen Social Security's finances is for the wealthy to begin paying their fair share of payroll contributions. The bill not only provides an across-the-board boost in benefits to all Social Security recipients for the first time since 1972, it includes targeted increases for the most vulnerable, including widows and widowers, low-wage workers, and of course, seniors. Now let me know in the comment section down below if you support this bill. Now, for those who are currently looking for work, Costco is actually increasing starting wages from $16 to $17 an hour. So Costco just raised starting wages again, this time to $17, Costco confirmed in an email. The raise went into effect on October 25th. The big box store last raised its minimum wage to $16 in February 2021 from the $15 that it had been since 2019. Costco CEO W. Craig called the last raise good business, saying higher wages reduces turnover. Workers receive paid vacation and many are eligible for health care. The average tenure of a Costco employee was nine years as of February, and more than half of employees make over $25 an hour. 
So as the retail industry is hit with a continuing labor shortage, higher wages have been one way businesses have kept workers on the job. Stores like Amazon and Target have both raised minimum wages to $15. In the recent years, after pressure from workers and the organization advocated for at least $15. Experts and analysts have called the labor shortage a misnomer, implying that there aren't enough workers instead of that there aren't enough good jobs, and many people are no longer willing to work for low pay in difficult and sometimes even dangerous positions. Now moving on to the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of November. As of right now, we have 22 states that have been approved, and as always, I bring you the payout dates information. The following states have been approved, which are Alabama, Colorado, Hawaii, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Maine, Maryland, Mississippi, New Hampshire, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and the state of Wyoming. As of right now, there are a few states who are no longer providing the SNAP emergency allotments, and those states are Missouri, Florida, Idaho, Montana, South Dakota, North Dakota, Nebraska, and the state of Arkansas. Also, keep in mind that the dates I'm about to provide you with are directly from the USDA website. If you haven't received your payment, there is a chance that your state could be behind. I highly recommend for you to contact your local SNAP office. So let's begin with the payout date information. We have the state of Alabama issuing payment on November 30th, Colorado November 2nd through November 12th, Hawaii December 13th, Indiana from November 5th through the 23rd only on the odd days, Iowa December 1st through December 10th, Kentucky November 2nd through November 19th, Maine November 10th, Maryland November 1st through November 30th, Mississippi November 2nd, the state of New Hampshire will be issuing payment on November 3rd or November 23rd or December 3rd or December 17th. The state of New Jersey will be issuing payment between November 1st through November 5th, North Carolina November 22nd through December 1st, Oregon will be issuing three rounds, first round on November 10th, second round November 29th, and round three on December 1st. Pennsylvania, November 13th through November 25th, and then on November 30th. Rhode Island, November 3, South Carolina, November 1st through November 19th, Tennessee, November 1st through November 20th, Virginia, November 16th, and Washington is on a regular issuance schedule. West Virginia, November 3rd, and a final run on December 8th. We also have the state of Wisconsin issuing payment on November 20th. Wyoming will be issuing payments based on the first letter of your last name, so A through D, November 2nd, E through K, November 3rd, L through R, November 4th, and S through Z, November 5th. Now moving on to the emergency allotments for the month of October. Keep in mind that the reason why I still include this information in this video is because some states are still issuing payments. So even though it's for October, some states won't be receiving their payment until November. So the state of Alabama will be issuing payment on October 30th, Alaska November 1st through November 30th, Arizona October 4th, California November 10th or November 13th, Colorado October 5th through October 10th, Connecticut October 14th, Delaware October 27th, DC regular issue and schedule, Georgia October 25th through the 28th, Hawaii, November 15th, Illinois, October 20th through the 28th. Next, we have the state of Indiana issuing payment on the odd days between October 5th through the 23rd, Iowa, October 1st through October 10th, Kansas, November 15th through the 24th, Kentucky, October 2nd through October 19th, Louisiana, October 9th, October 16th, October 23rd, or October 30th. Maine, October 7th, Maryland, October 1st through October 31st, 
Massachusetts, November 2nd, Michigan, October 23rd through November 1st, and Minnesota, November 9th through the 11th, from the 15th through the 18th, the 22nd through the 25th, and the 29th through the 30th. Next, we have the state of Mississippi issuing payment on October 2nd, Nevada, November 10th, New Hampshire, October 5th, October 9th, November 5th, or November 23rd, New Jersey, October 1st through October 5th, New Mexico, October 1st through October 31st. Next, we have the state of New York issuing payment on October 18th through the 22nd or the 25th through the 29th. North Carolina, October 22nd through the 31st, Ohio, October 28th, Oklahoma, October 10th through the 15th, Oregon issued three rounds, round one, October 11th, round two, October 28th, and round three on November 1st, Pennsylvania, October 15th through the 28th, Rhode Island, October 3rd, South Carolina, October 1st through October 19th, Tennessee, October 1st through October 20th, Texas, October 4th through October 8th, Utah, October 31st, Vermont, November 12th, Virginia, October 16th, Washington is on a regular issuing schedule, West Virginia, October 6th, and a final run on November 10th, Wisconsin, October 16th, Wyoming issued payments based on the first letter of your last name, so A through D, October 2nd, E through K, October 3rd, L through R, October 4th, and S through Z, October 5th. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notification button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you next time.